What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Collector's Outpost. I am John and today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite characters from one of my favorite series, Star Trek The Next Generation. This is Jean-Luc Picard. All right, here he is, Captain Jean-Luc Picard from Quantum Mechanics. Now, I have to say, they did a fantastic job, and I love the accessories that they gave us. I even love the stand they gave us. They didn't give us a standard base, they gave us a Star Trek logo, which is completely great. Now, just a bit after this figure came out, another company was started up, I think from one of the same people from Quantum Mechanics, called X06, where they put out another round of uh, Star Trek figures which were all awesome. I didn't pick any of them up. Um, I do wish I did, but I am so excited that I got at least Captain Picard. Um, I am surprised that a Picard figure from the new TV show hasn't been released by anyone, including X-06. But either way, I'm so excited I was able to get my hands on this figure, because if anything is going to represent your Star Trek figure collection from Next Generation and that whole line and that little era, it's going to be Jean-Luc Picard. All right, let's dive in and take a look at everything. So like I was saying, it's very thin in the accessories area. They did give us a really good variety of hands. We got everybody's favorite, the phaser, the tricorder, and his little iPad, plus a cup of tea. Now starting with the cup of tea, let's get nice and close so you guys can see all the details that they put into this. I think it's awesome that they gave us a cup of tea. That is that is great. Then we've got the pad which has the stickers of some details and stuff going on in there. Then my personal favorite, the phaser gun. Everything's obviously super clean. There's not a lot of weathering on anything because the Star Trek world was very, very clean and shiny. And then we've got the tricorder with a super cool magnetic design that you can have open or closed. I love how they, they did this. So we got it there open and you can fold it over just like an old Motorola phone if anybody remembers that. I love that they went with a magnet design with this and nothing that's actually connected so nothing will ever break. Alright and then over here we have the holsters for the phaser and the tricorder which will magnetize right to the pants. I absolutely just love the use of magnets with a lot of things these days because if I had to click this thing into something or use a button my luck I'll ruin everything. And I love that they give us a logo stand rather than that typical stand that we see with so many figures. Now before we move on to the head sculpt, I just want to give you a pan down of the uniform because it's done so well. Unlike superhero uniforms, the Star Trek uniforms are usually very, very simple. Down here at the bottom, you can see there's an elastic band that goes around the shoes. I'll uh, just take that off really quick so we can take a peek at the shoes here. These are made out of a pleather, very simple, very straightforward. There's no painting, there's no weathering or anything on them. All right, let's move on to the star of the show, this head sculpt. This head sculpt is Patrick Stewart. They nailed the likeness of Patrick Stewart. I absolutely love the work they did here. Everything from the paint applications to the skin texturing to the hair color variations around the eyes and the cheeks, it just so well done. And this figure was not very expensive, it was 179 bucks when I bought it. I seriously could not be happier. Alright, we're gonna keep this video simple and short, there's not a lot of things to look at, it's a very simple figure. A simple figure, but a great figure to represent all of our love of Star Trek in our collection. I'm very much hoping that X06 or another company will come along and give us some 1-6 scale figures from the new Picard show because I would love to have a few of them. And I would not only like figures from the new Picard show, but I would love figures from Star Trek Discovery. And how about some figures from Star Trek Enterprise? I would love to have Jonathan Archer and T'Pol. Not only am I a huge Star Wars fan, but I am a huge Star Trek fan. And I just don't feel like there's enough of Star Trek representation in the 1-6 world. 
I know Quantum Mechanic put out a lot of Star Trek figures, but I feel like we just need some more. I also think it would be great if Hot Toys or XO6 or SoSo Toys would give us a line of figures from Stargate. I would love to have some Stargate stuff in my collection. Just tossing out some ideas to the toy makers of the world. Well, that is it for this video. Please drop down and smash that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications, and I'll see you on the next video. Take it easy.